Okay, so this is a very quick overview on open form types inside Studio 6. With open form types, you can link your existing dialogue flow agents or even draw upon predefined dialogue flow agents that are uh, provided as part of system types inside Studio 6. In this particular example, I've got a very simple task that I've uh, developed for our IVA to process. Uh, calls will come in here at the start. We will then use an open form to get the location so a natural language address capture where we're capturing multiple slots of information. I'm going to repeat that location back and then just go back in a loop. Now, before I get into the open form itself, let's have a quick look at the dialogue flow agent that has been created. And this is a very simple dialogue flow agent. Uh, it has one single intent called syslocation. And in this uh, intent, I can provide uh, different addresses. So I can say my address is, or this is the address and so forth uh, in a natural language way. And I expect the intent to be able to capture, uh, for example, the city, the street address, uh, the area, the zip code and so forth. Okay, so if I wanted to try that here in the dialogue flow interface, I could just put in an address to Embarcadero San Francisco and we can scroll down and we can see here that the uh, location parameter has extracted in the JSON here, city is San Francisco, uh, street address is to Embarcadero Center. Okay, switching back to studio now, if I double click on the open form type, you'll see here, uh, it looks just like a regular form, but under the form setting, under the form tab, you can see here that the form type is set to open form. I could also use system open form type, which is the pre-built ones. Uh, in open form, I'm selecting uh, the one that I've created here called North American Address Capture. And here you can see all of the possible return variables, location city, location zip, location street address, location admin area. Okay, uh, and uh, that's as simple as that. Uh, if you're wondering how it was actually created, I go up to global and go to cut uh, open form types, click here. You'll see the open form types that I've created. Go to Actions, and Edit. Scroll down. You can see here I can put in a test query in text, preview, and this is linking through to my project ID in the Google Cloud. And here you can see the response back from the dialogue flow agent. And I can return any number of parameters that I like from that payload that comes back from dialogue flow. Okay. So let's give it a quick call and listen to how it sounds. What is your address? My address is 2 Embarcadero Center, San Francisco, California. I have your location as 2 Embarcadero Center, San Francisco, California. What is your address? Okay, so you can see there I provided an address with a street address, uh, a locality or the city, uh, as well as a state, and all three pieces of information were captured correctly and then read back out to me. So if I go into the repeat location prompt node, you'll see here that I pieced those pieces of information together and reread them. Let's have a look here. I have your location as, location street address, location city, location admin area, and location zip. Now, I didn't provide a zip code in that case. If I had provided the zip code, it would also have captured that and read that back as well, but it was an optional parameter. And that's it, a quick introduction to open form types in Studio. Uh, very, very powerful, allows you to uh, use natural language features without necessarily having a detailed understanding of how natural language processing works, particularly if you use the system types uh, within the open form node itself. That's it for now, thank you. Thank you.